As difficult as things might occasionally appear to be, we know that things would be much worse without the gallant and diligent efforts of our armed forces. As of the end of 2016, Boko Haram as a fighting force had been effectively degraded, or perhaps we might say effectively defeated. Their particular strain of false ideology is one which rejects the authority of the state and seeks to take over territory, and in our case, the Nigerian state. But what we are seeing are random criminal acts over a large area of territory. The world has come to realize that the war on terrorism is different. Today's enemies are loosely structured non-state actors, sometimes faceless, and they choose to mutate, they choose to transform themselves. They will alter their goals and their objectives at random, and they are capable of doing anything and everything to continue feeding off the oxygen of media. The media, as a matter of fact, is its most important tool. The more spectacular their actions and the more spectacularly depicted it is by the media, the greater the sense that indeed this is a massive and lethal fighting force. We must fight on multiple fronts, starve them of funding and resources, of sympathizers, and especially of the oxygen of publicity, especially on the internet. National armed forces must learn the art of rapid evolution and adaptation. They must focus their energies not just on expanding conventional reach, but also on developing a robust capacity to take the fight outside their comfort zone, from the financial networks that sustain terrorists to the cyberspace that amplifies their noise. The president, of course, fully understands the threats and the issues. He also understands the importance of not being driven by panic and of taking the time to build the coalitions and collaborations without which enduring security would be impossible in Nigeria. Our current focus is the strengthening of Nigeria's intelligence gathering capacity. It is a task that must involve every citizen, every community. And at the level of the military and intelligence agencies, intelligence sharing must become the rule and not the exception. It is important, especially for the, the Nigerian elite, to understand that we owe a duty to ensure that we do not promote any of the types of prejudices, any of the types of tendencies that can cause clashes and that can cause division in our communities. It is our duty in particular to hold this country together, especially by our utterances and by the sorts of tendencies that we promote.